Yesu Nina kuinu wewe Hakuna mwingine Nina kuinu wewe Jehovah Nina kuinu wa Yesu Nina kuinu wewe Tupate viti vietu katika jina la Yesu. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Buwana asifiwe. Uh, wakati huu, nataka nichukua na fasi hii, nilete uh, ushuhuda. Na kwanza kabla sijafika kwa ushuhuda kunaye mgeni katika nyumba ya Mungu kwa haraka Kama kunaye mgeni katika nyumba ya Mungu ni mara yako ya kwanza kuweza kushiriki nasi naomba maana popote ulipo uinue mkono wako ili tuweze kukuona popote ulipo kama kunaye asande tumpigie Makofi mgeni wetu ambaye ameingia katika nyumba ya Bwana simama kwa miguu yako kwa haraka njo hapa mbele utusalamie tukujue wewe ni nani umetoka wapi na umejua hapa kwa njia gani tumpigie makofi anapokuja karibu sana katika jina la Yesu Amina. Amen. Karibus. Asante, karibu sana, karibu sana. Makopi mazuri ya karibisha mgeni katika nyumba ye, yake. Ah, nataka ni kuambie hapa sisi tumechanganyika. Bwana asifiwe. Hapa kuna watu kutoka Taita na wacha nisiende mbali. Kutoka Kisi tuko na washirika. Bwana asifiwe. Nataka ni mkaribishe a uh, msichana wetu pale a uh, uh, sister Gishana uh, unaweza hata salamia kwa lugha pengine ndiye ajue unatoka Kisi oh haleluya simama jo hapa kwa haraka utusalamie uh, ni siku nyingi hauja tusalamia tumpigie makofi anapokuja karibu sana a uh, dada yetu Gishana katika jina la Yesu ya yeah. amen 
Tupigie bwana makofi mazuri katika jina la Yesu. Sema jambo. Asante. Oh yes. Oh hallelujah. Yes. Thank you very much. Tumpigie makofi. Asande kwa ku encourage mgeni wetu ajue hapa ako nyumbani. Milango yetu iko wazi. Sisi tunamwabudu Mungu mmoja. Jina lake ni Kristo Yesu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Katika jina hilo wafungwa wanafunguliwa katika jina hilo waliofinyiliwa chini wanainuliwa walio na shida mbalimbali hakika Bwana wetu ni mwaminifu tunapomuita katika a, katika roho na kweli anashuka na anatenda karibu sana karibu sana tutakapo kamilisha ibada hii tukifika mwisho a tuta utapata nafasi kutane na kikundi chetu ambacho kinachokaribisha wageni kinachoongozwa na pasta vijana ambaye ni Roma ni Kitimo kwa hivyo yuko katika nyumba ya Mungu asante sana asante sana kuna mgeni mwingine kama kunaye kama hayuko ninaruka kwa haraka nataka kuwakaribisha wenyeji sasa a uh, kwanza nataka nishukuru Mungu mimi sisemi mambo mengi ni jambo moja tu namshukuru Mungu kwa juma nzima ametulinda na zaidi ya yote jana ametuwezesha tulisema kwamba tutakuwa na a seminar ama retreat Bwana asifiwe na tulikuwa nazo zilifaulu Bwana asifiwe kwa hivyo sitaki kunena mengi bali Nataka nianzie kwa wale walio shiriki katika kazi hii ya jana. Kwa hivyo nikikuita utakuja kwa haraka, usalamie mkutano na useme jambo. Bwana asifiwe. Tuko na vitengo tofauti. Tuko na kitengo cha wamama, tuko na kitengo cha wazee, tuko na kitengo cha wanaongoza uimbaji mara hapa na tuko na kitengo ambacho ni cha vijana. Oh haleluya. Kwa haraka na wazee wazee nimewataja asante. Kwa hivyo nitaanza na sehemu ya ladies na nitaanza na anaye simamia upande aliyesimamia upande wa uimbaji. Bwana asifiwe. Ah msichana wangu Oh, hallelujah. Oh ah, asante. Thank you very much. Sanitize for me hicho chombo ili aje aweze kusalamu. Tumpigia makofi anapokuja. Asante sana. Au salamie. Useme mambo ilikuwa aje katika jina la Yesu kwa dakika mbili. for us to grow. I've learned a lot that meanwhile as we grow together we'll be sharing with my team so that we grow together. Isikuwe nimepata peke yangu. Because teamwork builds a very good thing. That's what I really learned. So whenever we come to church, kuja wewe mwenyewe. Sema tunakuja kuona nani especially amekuja hata amekamno. Come individually, come singing unto God. Ukija unakuja kumwambia Mungu as we stand here, kuja knowing like I'm I'm singing here for God. God minister to us as we're going to minister to people. Mungu anoint our voice and our lips and all shall be blessed. Barikiweni. Hallelujah. Tumpigie makofi mazuri. Asante sana. Asante sana. Ah, uh, najua tuki tukiitiwa nyingine tutakuja mbio. Bwana asifiwe. Ah, uh, wakati huu nataka nimlete mama. 
uh, mama wetu Mary ambaye tunampenda mama wa bidii bwana asifiwe uh, alikuja mahala pale na hakika alijifundisha mengi karibu sana tumpigie makofi mazuri fact yesterday's seminar was one of a kind it was one in a million and uh, i don't know I, i even lack words with which to express how it was it was fabulous it was wonderful it was a seminar worth attending na nilijifundisha mengi na kwa kweli nilijifundisha kwamba in every department you need to be loyal to your leaders you need to be humble and you need to be disciplined in your department yani sijui okay ni kama yule alikuwa anafundisha kila kitu alikuwa anaegemea upande wangu bwana asifiwe na ningependa yani angekuwa ingekuwa ni kila mama ameiattend kwa sababu umejua kitu unaambiwa after yani kupeleka ujumbe inapanga tofauti maana unaweza ondoa yako ama uongeze yako so huo inakuwa mzuri ukisikiza mwenyewe ndio uchukue yaliyo yako na uache ile ya mwingine bwana asifiwe lakini nilifurahia sana kwa sababu ili ni jump start maana kuna wakati nilikuwa ninaona ni kama the whole world is upon my shoulders but jana nilikuta ni kama i was jump started by the way i was rejuvenated and i was very much humbled thank you hallelujah tumpigie makofi mazuri oh hallelujah hiyo makofi ni ya watu ambao hawakuhudhuria ndio wanapiga kana kwamba uh, Tumpigie makofi mazuri. Asante asante. Thank you very much. Now uh, nataka nisonge kwa vijana. Bwana asifiwe. Na upande wa vijana nataka kumwalika uh, kijana Arthur Juma. Where are you? Kama hayuko kwa haraka kama ako mbali asante na mwalika Timothy Mulupi njo u represent uh, vijana mahala pale kwa kwa ulikuwa tumpigie makofi mazuri Bwana Yesu asifiwe Amina Bwana Yesu asifiwe Amen uh, sitaongeza mambo mingi sana sababu nitakuwa na haribu yale ambayo tulipata jana na kwa kweli yale mafundisho tulipata jana tuko watu tofauti kwa sasa sio ati sisi tuko superior kuliko nyinyi lakini tumebeba kitu tofauti na nyinyi bwana asifiwe manake siri um, ni mingi ambazo tulizopewa na mtumishi wa Mungu mkuu ambaye alikuwa ni askofu Peter ambaye iliweza kutujaza katika mioyo zetu na sasa naamini pengo limepungua kabisa bwana asifiwe ile vacuum ilikuwa katikati mchungaji sitarajii utaiona tena hivi karibuni na tunaomba Mungu iko imeenda kabisa na sisi zote tuambukizwe roho ya umoja ili tuweze kufanya kazi nzuri ndipoza tuweze kujenga kanisa hapa kanisa kubwa ambalo watu watakuwa nakuja ndani wanabarikiwa wale wamevunjika mioyo wakikuja wanainuliwa wale ambao wanatafuta watoto wakikuja wanapokea Bwana asifiwe. Askofu alituambia alitabiria mshirika wake mmoja atapata mapacha hakuamini akapata. Mara ya kwanza, mara ya pili akajoku na yeye unataka tena wengine wasichana akasema ndio. Baada ya miezi sita alikuwa na mimba na baada hajamaliza kunyonyesha hao wengine. Bwana asifiwe. Vitu kama hizo pastors zitatufuata tu hapa. Ikiwa ikiwa tutafanya kazi kwa umoja ikiwa tutashikana tusimame ni nguvu zaidi na tukijenga kanisa la Bwana likiwa nzuri na hata ili letu ni afadhali askofu alisema kanisa yake ila alikuwa anatabiri nayo ilikuwa kanisa imezingirwa na makaratasi ya nylon Bwana asifiwe lakini sisi tuko mahali pazuri hata ukienda kwa mtandao ukiangalia hii mtu anasema hao watu wako na cathedral kubwa hapo lakini ni hema Bwana asifiwe lakini zaidi ya yote tunajivunia mahali tuko na kwa hivyo tufanye kazi tukiwa tumeelekeza mawazo yetu katika upande moja mchungaji wetu akisema tunaenda kusini sisi wote ni pale akisema tunaenda mashariki sisi wote ni pale bwana asifiwe 
sisi tutasimama na wewe mchungaji kama watu ambao waliopokea mafundisho na hiyo moto tutawakisha kwa hao wengine wote na moto itakuwa kubwa hapa na tutafikia malengo ambayo ni ya unga ambayo tutatuelekeza nayo mubarikiwe sana asante sana mtumpigie makofi mazuri thank you thank you very much a uh, kabla sija muita hata bado tunamtafuta bwana asifiwe mpaka akuje hapa oh hallelujah kuna kitu ambacho askofu alisema na akasema ya kwamba huyu mchungaji kuna kipawa ambacho Mungu amempa bwana asifiwe na ni kipawa wacha niite kwa lugha rahisi ni cha biashara bwana asifiwe na ikiwa uta utatii chini yake hicho kipawa aki ataachilia juu yako bwana asifiwe maana yake uta sitaki kutumia lugha alitumia bwana asifiwe lakini si mbaya alisema ni wacha nitumie lugha nyingine ya utajiri bwana asifiwe kwa hivyo bwana mbembariki na bila mbembariki ikiwa utanyenyekea chini yake mimi niliyekuwa mahala pale ataniambukiza hicho kipao bwana asifiwe hilo peke yake ndio nilikuwa nataka niseme nataka nimlete kijana hata tumpigie makofi mazuri anapokuja upande wa Sunday school alikuwa mahala pale na alisikia mengi nena jambo kwa yale uliyoyaona yes praise god bwana asifiwe amina jana tulisoma like uh, i want to confess that jana we were students na hakuna student mwenye alikuwa amelala watu walikuwa wanaangalia masomo ni mzuri hata siku yenu inakuja so tuli uh, mimi nili represent uh, uh, my sunday school na kama umeacha mtoto nyumbani na sasa hizi si unaona tumeanza kujaza kanisa shaurieni what i miss a lot because now we've been trained na wao pia like they, i have to impact them with the kind of knowledge and the wisdom that we got from the other end so tunashukuru mungu thank you our senior pastor for making such kind of arrangements itatusaidia we grow we grow spiritually we grow materially we grow in all direction or dimensions in life so mungu akubariki na naweza kuwapatia tu clue that coming next sunday huyo bishop atakuwa hapa watakuwa hapa ukose kukuja kanisa eh tutakupigia hadi hata simu so ukikosa shauri yako mungu awabariki haleluya haleluya asante sana ah uh, thank you very much for your remarks now nataka niite mzee mmoja bwana asifiwe nataka niite uh, ndugu yangu uh, Patrick Wandera njoo hapa useme kitu salamie mkutano huu hata wewe unishiriki bwana oh haleluya <laughs> karibu Bwana asifiwe. Amina. Nashukuru. Jana tulikuwa kwa mkutano. Na uh, mkutano ilikuwa mzuri sana. Tulijifunza mengi ambayo hatukua tumejua. Mm-hmm. Kitu ambacho nilijifunza huko kwanza ni kuwa commitment as a leader. Ukiwa commitment, ukiwa committed as a leader, mambo yako itafaulu na ukiwa committed kwa kazi ya Mungu, kujitolea kwa kazi ya Mungu utaona baraka zikikufuata mwenyewe kwa familia. Kitu kingine chenye nilijifunza mchungaji akisema kuna washirika wakati alikuwa anaanzisha hiyo kanisa kama fellowship. Ilianza kama fellowship. Kuna washirika wenye walitaka hiyo kanisa yenye inaanza chini from the beginning so that wakati inakuwa wa grow nayo wajenge ili wapate baraka. Wewe ambao uko mahali hapa ni mahali pazuri ambapo umekuja hakuna haja uende utafutile kanisa yenye 
ilishajengwa tayari ndio ukuje ukose baraka lakini uanze mahali penye hii yetu inaanza from the beginning wakati tunajenga unachangia unajitolea kwa kazi ya Mungu pale commitment ilikuwa kitu ya maana unapojikomiti kwa kazi ya Mungu baraka zenyewe zinakufuata zinafuata to the third generation asante hiyo ndio kitu nilijifundisha pale haleluya asante sana ndugu yangu sema tu amen kuja hapa <laughs> tumpigie makofi mazuri haleluya bwana asifiwe amina asifiwe tena yangu ni machache hao wamesema yote kwangu ni pastor makobe never just a macho bishop ambuka and reverend vincent mungu awabariki mungu awabariki na washirika wetu wa hapa mimi nawaumiza kitu moja mtakikuja kanisa ujue umekuja wapi na ujue unatumikia nani kitu ya kwanza ndio tujenge kanisa letu asanteni asante sana asante sana bwana asifiwe ah vile mmeona kila sehemu ilishirikishwa oh haleluya kila department kulikuwa na aliye kuwa ame represent ah wakati huu nataka nichukue nafasi hii Jumapili iliyopita uh, Reverend na washirika wengine watatu ambaye ni Pastor Vijana Roman na ndugu Machembe na ndugu Mwalo walienda Nakuru. Kwa hivyo nataka nichukue nafasi hii ni muite aliyepo ambaye aliyetembea na mchungaji ambaye ni Pastor Vijana a Roma ni kitimo tumpigie makofi sana utusalamie yeah, praise god bwana yesu asifiwe tena bwana yesu asifiwe kanisa praise be to jesus i'm glad to see some new faces quite sometimes sijakutana na wao na mungu awabariki sana bwana yesu asifiwe Amina. first of all i'm glad uh, i give god all the gratitude for enabling us to walk uh, last sunday with our senior pastor our reverend justice olacho It was a great honor having him around with us and we were really blessed where we went and wanasemwanga nabii hana heshima kwao bwana yesu asifiwe wetu wako na heshima nyumbani na ako na heshima kule nje bwana yesu asifiwe jinsi anavyofanya kazi yake na kutekeleza wajibu wake ndio inayeleta heshima nyumbani na inaleta heshima hata kule i kule nje bwana yesu asifiwe Uh, zaidi ya mno tulifurahia sana tulifundishwa kuwa hodari katika Bwana Bwana Yesu asifiwe unapokuwa hodari tutajapo kukutana na changamoto mbalimbali mbali, hapa na pale tutasalia kuwa hodari Bwana Yesu asifiwe na zaidi ya mno pia niliona watu waliotoka sehemu mbalimbali kwa sababu ya kuwa hodari wanataka kusimamia ukweli waliweza kukuja kuandamana na mchungaji wetu Bwana Yesu asifiwe unapotengeneza mambo yako inakuwa sawa na unakuwa na ukweli Watu wenye wanapenda ukweli watakufuata. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na wengi wao walikuwa wanataka mchungaji atengeneze uamuzi awaambie tumekufuata unatuambia tunaenda pande gani. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Lakini mchungaji wetu wako na hekima anaenda jinsi Mungu anavyomuongoza. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na zaidi ya mno pia niko na ushuhuda. Juma lililopita pia niliweza kusafiri nyumbani kuna Jumapili moja siku hapa. Na jinsi nilivyowaambia katika kitabu cha Habakuk chapter 2 verse 2 Even though the vision may take long it may tarry but at the opportune time the right time the time that God has appointed it shall come to pass praise be to God if you are an elder here you are a mother here you are a young person here i i came to this church when uh, we were still in the school there na tukakaa chini kwa desk ndogo nilikuwa katio wakati wa Sunday school kama venye watu wa Sunday school walikuwa wameketi pale asubuhi so i had a lot of time my pastor saying that uh, I was being called Sie Kenya. Praise be to God. Sie Kenya for the Kisi or, or to the other tribes who don't know it ni kuitwa Uchi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Nilikuwa nakaa chini najiuliza na hii Uchi pasta na maanisha nini? So wakati alipokuwa anapenda kuhubiri akitumia mfano wake kila mara, niliweza kujifunza kitu nikajiuliza na hii Sie Kenya. Na mimi pia nikiangalia tu njia zangu pia nakumbuka I used to be going to school with a short 
full of punches praise be to god imejazo viraka huku na huko zingine hata zimeshona mpaka haiwezi shoneka tena bwana yesu asifiwe so nikaanza kukua inspired i was inspired by the teachings nikaanza kupenda vitu za mungu though by then sikuwa napenda mungu sana because we were we like to think here and there when it was feel but sir wakati alikuwa anaendelea kufundisha hivyo nikatiwa moyo nikaendelea kukuja na kuja edho bado moyo wangu uko huko napenda vitu vingine za huko nje nje lakini nakazana na kuja tu hivyo kuna ndugu fulani alikuwa anaitwa Daniel Wanjala alikuwa ananipenda sana kwa sababu ilikuwa ikifika tukishamaliza kanisa tunatoka kuna mahali pale juko kiwanja we used to be going to eat mtura so alikuwa anajua kila jioni lazima tutaenda roma tutanibaiwa mtura mtura because I used to be working at Kware down there. So pale Kware shule naenda kama siku tatu, siku zingine tatu niko pale chini na gonga mawe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So I was really inspired by that story. So nikakuwa najifundisha hivyo hivyo pole pole. Nikaanza ku learn some things. Mmoja mchungaji akahudhuri kinyume na kukula hizo madamu, nyama za damu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na nikaacha kabisa tu kwa irudi hapo tena. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Siku moja nikaanza kufundisha mambo ya kujazwa na Roho Mtakatifu. Nikasikia neno la Mungu na nikatii na nikafuata. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Pole pole nikaanza kusikia eh hii neno linaniguza sana. Nikaanza kuona vile mambo inafanyika. Tukiwa bado wachanga kuna daktari alikuwa anaitwa Dr. Shibona aika hapa nafanya harusi na sisi ndio tulikuwa hapo kama vijana then tukapointiwa twende tufanye tukue kama wale wanakuanga kwa line bwana yesu asifiwe nasema kwa lugha rahisi ndio kwa wenye wajui waweze kuelewa bwana yesu asifiwe so nikiwa ni pale i was so inspired nikaona eh hey, na hii harusi nakaa smart nikajiambia siku moja na niko i was still very young one day i have to do a wedding bwana yesu asifiwe praise be to jesus so a church is a place of rejuvenation a plus a church is a place of revival a church is a place where you come when you are hopeless you get hope one as was a few a church is a place where you come you don't have front or back you don't have anywhere to to, to depend on but you come you learn and you you, are, you get refreshed praise be to god kuna wengine wanakujanga kanisani wanasema nakuja kanisani nikikufa waweze kunizika usikuje kanisani kwa mawazo kama hayo bwana yesu asifiwe kuja kanisani uweze kubadilishwa bwana yesu asifiwe you change your lifestyle praise be to god maybe kama uko unaenda this direction change from that direction start walking to a new direction praise yes. be to jesus mm-hmm. bwana yesu asifiwe kama kwenu mlikuwa wachawi geuka kutoka kwa uchawi uweze kuwa mtu wa nuru bwana yesu asifiwe praise be to jesus Amina. and slowly by slowly I was learning in the process. Nikawachana na hizo mambo na Mungu akaniokoa na baada ya kuniokoa nikaanza kuwa na ile direction. Then a verse came to me, the verse that I normally read from the book of Philippians chapter chapter 2. Praise be to Jesus. Mm-hmm. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Praise Amen. be to God. Yeah. Na yaweza mambo yote kupitia Kristo anitiaye nguvu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mm. Ni jambo gani ambalo nalo liona kwamba hauliwezi? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mm. Ni kupata mtoto, Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ni kupata mke ama mume, Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ni biashara nzuri ambayo unaomba Mungu akubariki nayo, Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ni watoto au ni kazi unayoomba, unayaweza mambo yote kupitia Kristo anayekutia nguvu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise be to Jesus. Amen. Praise be to Jesus. Amina. When the time came, I had to make decisions. Praise be to Jesus. Kambia Mungu nataka nifanye harusi. Na harusi hiyo nilikuwa pale nje, nikamwambia mzee kimchezo mchezo alikuwa George Minani. Kaambia mchungaji mzee mimi naomba mwaka mbili zijazo au mwaka moja na nusu ijayo niweze kufanya harusi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kasema Roma na kitu nasema ni nzuri. Ungependa ufanye harusi ya pesa ngapi? Unajua harusi hata hapa tunaweza fanya ya 1500 hata ya 1500 ama 1000. Kaambia hiyo ni nzuri lakini mimi jinsi ningependa moyo wangu nifanye harusi ambayo itakuwa na adabu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hiyo basi inamaanisha lazima uko umetengeneza ki, umetengeneza kitu. Praise be to Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amina. And that one does not mean kama uko hapa uende kwa chini ya maji. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Yesterday I witnessed online a wedding that was done in a church without spending even a single shilling praise be to god walenda kanisani wakaombewa wazazi wao wakakuja na wakafanya harusi bwana yesu asifiwe but as a man thinks so is he praise be to god it doesn't matter kama unataka hiyo kubwa kama unataka hiyo dogo mwambie mungu nahitaji kitu fulani bwana yesu asifiwe yeye ni mwaminifu ataweza kukupa zaidi ya mno kitu ileo nifanya kwenda nyumbani nilifanya harusi na mzazi wangu hakuwa amepeleka mahari na nikapeleka mbele yake na nikamwambia mungu nahitaji niondoe hii aibu bwana yesu asifiwe nilipomwambia mungu nahitaji kuondoa hii aibu na neno la mungu lilipomjia kuhani wetu mkuu kasema kwamba huu ni mwaka wa kuvunja 
minyororo za kila aina bwana yesu asifiwe kubomoa kila kizuizi inayokuja mbele zetu bwana yesu asifiwe i used to be going home and grand, my grandfather tells me that you know your dad only brought 200 shillings praise be to jesus hiyo ilikuwa ina nichoma ndani ya moyo wangu nasikia uchungu najiuliza 200 mimi mwenyewe kutoka Nairobi kuja mpaka hapa natumia zaidi ya shilingi 200 na ikanichoma sana nikasema i have to do something praise be to god niliporejea Nairobi na nikaamua ndani ya nafsi yangu that next year and this is the year 2021 i have to go home and do something praise be to god it was an honor it was grateful and uh, the parents and the grandparents sayo mezeka hata wajui anything walikuwa naona tu watu kwa boma wanashangaa na nini kitu gani inaendelea hata mwingine anauliza na ni roma na si roma bwana yesu asifiwe but uh, that thing brought honor walifurahia sana juzi niliporudi tena on wednesday thursday usiku nilirejea nyumbani nikapata some of the things that we went with they are the one that are using praise be to god nikaona hizi ni baraka bwana yesu asifiwe kama uko hapa na weni mzee ama mama na kuna mambo kama hayo ni bahari au vizuizi rejea nyumbani tengeneza hiyo ma, ma, maneno bwana yesu asifiwe usijifiche juu nyumbani bwana yesu asifiwe i was glad also we initiated a project that i prayed to god aweze kuimaliza so that when i go home i can see my father in, a, in his own house praise be to jesus it has been my desire when we go home we enter in our own house praise be to god bwana yesu asifiwe and i thank the lord because the project has already started and as we are speaking wameanza kutengeneza bricks bwana yesu asifiwe praise be to jesus amen and pia mimi naomba wakati wangu kwa sababu pia mchungaji nilienda nikaanzisha ile kwetu kuna mlima sana nikubalieni tu tafadhali niweze kusema haya na wenye walipata nafasi kuja wameshakuja wakaona kwetu kuna mlima kali so kabla ujenge lazima utoe mchanga kwanza uposa upate ile level ground bwana yesu asifiwe so that you can start that foundation praise be to god i pray to god i told god that god this year hata kama sitamaliza hiyo nyumba lakini at least nianze kutengeneza tu kiwa kiwanja peke yake bwana yesu asifiwe so i started that process kuanza kutoa ile mchanga so that i can start making even also my brick when you come to taita msiseme at kwa nini ndio maana wapelekange taita mtakuja na mkikuja mtakosa mahali pa kuingia bwana yesu asifiwe so that is the vision praise be to jesus oh, yes. when you are here usikuje tu kanisani bwana yesu asifiwe come to get inspired praise be to jesus Hallelujah. usikuje kutafutana na masengenyo bwana yesu asifiwe Usikuja kutafuta vitina hapa na pale. Kuja to be transformed in your life. Praise be to God. Zaidi ya mno as we come to the church, let us play as a team. Praise be to Jesus. Kuna mtu alikuwa anapenda kusema Acha nisiende hapo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. When you are a player, you play as a team. If you are a mother, play as a team. If you are a young person, play as a team. If you are a mzee, play as a team. Usikuje kujitafutia sifa zako peke yako. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. We don't come to church to compete to see who can preach more than the other, who can sing more than the other. Praise be to God. Who can be able to do something more than the other. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tunapokuja kanisani na tuwe na roho kama hizo, tunapoteza ile mwelekeo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tunapoteza baraka za Mwenyezi Mungu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Lakini kuja kwa hekalu, tumika kulingana na jinsi Mungu atakazo kuwezesha na unapofanya vivyo baraka za Mungu zitanamana nawe usitafute mtu kukusifu Bwana Yesu asifiwe kuja tu hata kama unakuja mapema endelea tu kukuja mapema let nobody notice you but let God notice you praise be to God haukuje kumfurahisha mchungaji Bwana Yesu asifiwe sikuje kumfurahisha mchungaji but i'm coming because i'm longing to see something in my life difference in my life praise be to god kuja utafute mabadiliko na kisha mungu wetu si adhumani ataweza kututunuku kutubariki na as pastor said that uh, he will, he learned something yesterday i also learned something praise be to god Amen. the pastor who normally come here reverend vincent amekuwa chini ya yule mchungaji na baada ya kufanya kazi kwa muda mwingi Mungu aliweza kumbariki na gari jipya na lile mzee aliyokuwa nalo akampa ule mchungaji Bwana Yesu asifiwe You never know also Pastor Makobi unaweza kuwa tu uko hapa unakuwa tu mnyenyekevu Mungu anakubariki unaweza sikia siku moja asubuhi ile Subaru Mungu amekubariki nayo Bwana Yesu asifiwe Praise be to Jesus So that humility humility and commitment it matters a lot Praise be to God When you are committed to your boss when you are committed to your job God will bless you and will reward you mightily Praise be to God. May God bless you, may God do you well. Thank you so much. Asante. Tumpigie makofi mazuri. Asante sana kwa mazungumzo mazuri. Ah, uh, mtu kabla hajazungumza hawezi jua. Bwana asifiwe. Mimi nikikuja chini ya mchungaji huyu. The year 2005.
It was in the month of September or October. Bwana asifiwe. I used to come all along from Ruiru. Nakuja siku ya kwanza nilipotea. Nikatafuta, najua mchungaji anahubiri na yeye ndio anapigia simu. So hata ku kuanza ni ngumu Bwana asifiwe. So nilifika ibada ikienda kuisha. And uh, uh, maybe mama Mary alikuwa ikiangalia maybe ndugu Machemba angekuwa angesema aliniona nikiingia Bwana asifiwe. Lakini wakati huo hakukuwa na madhabahu imeinuliwa kama hii. Bwana asifiwe. Tulikuwa shuleni uh, from Monday to Saturday. It was uh, they were classrooms. Bwana asifiwe. Zimekatwa na boards. So ni kungangana kuzitoa inafanyika hekalu siku ya Jumapili. That is where I used to kneel. Bwana asifiwe. Wakati madhabahu imeitwa. Na ninaombewa na mchungaji huyu si mwingine. Oh hallelujah. Nikikuja hapa nilimpata akiwa na ndugu yangu marehemu uh, Pastor Steve Bwana asifiwe. Yeye ndiye aliyeniombea kwa madhabahu hayo ambaye hayakuwa yameinuliwa. Sitaki kwenda kwa historia nyingi. Kuna mambo ambayo Mungu anaweza fanya maishani mwako. Bwana asifiwe. Anaweza badilisha maisha yako na ukiangalia nyuma na wacha nikuambie usiwe wa kujificha kutaka ani kukosa kutaka kujifanya ati wewe ulizaliwa tu na ukaanza kuwa tu vile ambavyo utakuwa siku hiyo utakapokuwa umebarikiwa bwana asifiwe lazima ukumbuke mahali ulitoka oh haleluya na ujue ya kwamba hakika Mungu anaweza tena jambo la ajabu maishani oh haleluya kwa hivyo asante sana mchungaji kwa kazi nzuri ambayo unafanya na sisi tutaendelea tu kuwa nyuma yako oh haleluya ah sitaki kusema hilo lakini kuna watu walitoka bwana asifiwe wakaongea mambo mengi ambayo sitaki kuyataja bwana asifiwe lakini mzee mimi niko nyuma yako endelea tu kuniongoza Ah, na Mungu anibariki nami niendelee tu kuchuchumilia nyuma yako. Bwana asifiwe. Mzee wa imani, mchungaji wangu ambaye nampenda. Bwana asifiwe. Kwa hivyo wewe pia ah, develop that desire. Bwana asifiwe. Ya kuwa chini yake na kuna kitu ambacho Bwana anaenda kufanya. Bwana asifiwe. Ah, Bwana atakuinua. Bwana atakubariki. Atatenda mambo ya ajabu. Oh haleluya. Thank you very much. A uh, uh, pole uh, mchungaji tumetumia muda mwingi lakini eh, lazima tu tutaongea Bwana asifiwe mchungaji akiniruhusu kwa haraka sitaki nirudi hapa kunena mambo mengine baada yake kuhubiri neno la Mungu nataka niseme hivi a uh, tuliketi hapa Jumapili iliyopita mchungaji hakukua lakini akawea Bwana asifiwe Tulikuwa hapa wazee, tulikuwa na mama Mary, tulikuwa na kijana Arthur akirepresent upande wa vijana, mama akiwa na represent wa mama na pa, pia mama wetu mzazi ambaye mka mchungaji tulikuwa naye pamoja. Kuna kitu ambacho tunataka kufanya. Kitu hiki uh, tunaomba Mungu atusaidie mwezi wa nne. Bwana asifiwe. Tuweze kufanya jambo hili jambo hili tunataka kusherehekea wakati ambapo kanisa letu lilipoanza bwana asifiwe ingawaje ni miaka mingi miaka karibu 22 pengine imepita ama 23 oh haleluya lakini tunataka kujivunia zaidi ya yote Mungu kutupa mchungaji huyu bwana asifiwe ambaye ameongoza kanisa hili tangu nyakati zile Wengine tumekuja akiwa amemaliza miaka kadhaa hapa tukaungana naye Bwana asifiwe. Wengi wameingia kitoka lakini sisi tulio mahala hapa tunataka siku hiyo ambayo mchungaji atatuelekeza. Siku hiyo itakapofika iwe siku ya furaha mahala hapa. Na siku hii haiwezi kamilika ikiwa 
mimi na wewe hatutashikamana Bwana asifiwe tulifanya bajeti yetu bajeti yetu ilisema tunahitaji 1030 Bwana asifiwe wazee na wamama waliokuepo tayari wamenipa 1012 na mia, na mia nane. Bwana asifiwe nahitaji na kuna mzee mmoja anatuma 1500 angekuwa hapa angekuwa tayari ashanipa oh haleluya i'm talking of 17800 tayari ah nataka niseme hivi wale ambao hawakuwa katika nilete hiyo kitabu kwa haraka uh, kijana sitaki kumaliza muda neno la Mungu liletwe na mtumishi wa Mungu atuelekeze katika neno la Bwana ah Bwana asifiwe ah wale sitaki kusoma hayo mambo mengine lakini vitu ambavyo tuliweka chini ni hivi tunataka maji chupa kama stini za siku hiyo 1800 mchele kilo 25 3750 nyama lazima tununue hiyo siku nitakula nyama bwana asifiwe nataka kilo kumi 1000 ah soda lazima siku hiyo tukunywe bwana asifiwe ah tukaona ya kwamba hiyo ni tena chupa tumehesabu tu chupa moja moja kwa watu kama 60 so 60 bottles ah naona hesabu hapo imenichanganya lakini tunajua si pesa nyingi bwana asifiwe i think ni 1800 kama sijakosea ah katika jina la Yesu na kuna vitu vingine kama unga wa ngano tuko na unga wa ugali siku hiyo mpaka mgeni wangu asikia kule kuku bwana asifiwe tusherekee katika jina la Yesu tuko na kuku kama mbili tutanunua maka spices keki lazima tukate bwana asifiwe sutupigie bwana makofi oh haleluya kutakuwa na keki hapa isiyopungua shilingi 1000 Bwana asifiwe. Ah na mgeni wangu. Hii lazima tu niseme. Bwana asifiwe. Siwezi kubali mchungaji atoke hapa bila kumwekea mafuta. Bwana asifiwe. Hiyo pigia Bwana makofi. Ni baraka na kutafutia. Bwana asifiwe. Na ikiwa mchungaji pengine ataita mgeni. Najua ataita. Oh haleluya. Huyo mgeni nimempangia shilingi 1300. Bwana asifiwe. Pesa zote ni 1030. Nimepata 1017800. Wale walio kuwa katika mkutano na wamejitoa. Pastor Sulufana Makole 1300, Samuel Mdume 1100, Arthur Jume 1100, Agri Odonge 1100, Stephen Ochenge 1100, Michael Etenye 1100, Timothy Mlupi 1800 Patrick Wandera 2000 Mama Mary Ahenda 1000 Nimesoma hivyo ndio ujue ya kwamba wewe mwingine ambaye hauko hapo nahitaji pesa kwako Bwana asifiwe ili nifikishe the deficit of 12200 Bwana asifiwe Sitarajia hata shilingi kutoka kwa mchungaji Bwana asifiwe. Hiyo sitaki. Oh haleluya. So mchungaji tafadhali usinipe kitu kwa hiyo kazi. Nataka hao watoto wako mimi nikiwa miongoni mwao hii shughuli ipite. Mchungaji atatupa mwelekeo kuhusu hili jambo. Kwa hivyo kama haujasikia jina lako hapa sitaki nifanye hiyo shughuli saa hii. Kwa kuwa sitaki kuharibu ibada utahakikisha before you leave this place utakuja kuniona pamoja na kijana ata we put down your name na kile kitu ambacho utaleta i need kukilia hiyo nafasi imebaki ya 1012 na 200 pole sana mchungaji ah nimechukua nafasi yako na usinikasirikie <laughs> asante 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 ah Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Amchungaji ataongea baadaye 
Kwa hivyo nataka niite kwaya ama waimbaji wetu waje hapa tuongoze katika uh, nyimbo wakati tunapomtolea Bwana uh, matoleo yetu. Kama we ni mgeni hapa kwetu huwa tunatumia bahasha. Kwa ajili ya corona bahasha hii unajichukulia mwenyewe pale kwa mlango wakati unapojiandaa kumtolea Mungu kile amekubariki nacho asanteni sana bwana amani awabariki
Just stretch your hand forth here. The case I'm going to work will happen. Chungaji utakuja. Baba katika jina la Yesu tunakuheshimu tunakutukuza kwa sababu ya matoleo haya ndio Yesu God of heaven behold we have come to worship you with our giving Hallelujah Somehow Jehovah Lord each one of us has not come to thy altars empty handed mm-hmm. but by your grace we have been able oh Jehovah Lord to bring a tithe and an offering before you mm. Jesus Christ we lift up our giving unto you Hallelujah. We bid it unto the glorious hands of Jesus Christ. Mm. And through this giving, Jehovah Lord, you are going to open our doors. The doors of heavens of blessing are going to be opened right now in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. And we shall be a blessing even as we come in and go out. Mm. Because the Lord God of heaven has said it. Mm. We thank you and we bless you. For it is in Jesus' name we pray, trusting and believing. Give the Lord a big hand clap in Jesus name. Ah bwana asifiwe. Kuna vitu huwa tunafanya wanakuwa mnaweza toa kule hajatoa. Kuna vitu huwa tunafanya na many times watu wanazichukulia kimchezo. But this is very biblical. Amen. Amina. When I say let us give the Lord a big clap for our giving, you are appreciating God for honoring your need mm-hmm. through your giving. Mm-hmm. Unamshukuru Bwana asante kwa kujibu hitaji langu kupitia kutoa. Mm-hmm. Praise the Lord. Amen. So hatutoi kutajirisha mtu, hatutoi kufanya maisha ya mtu ibadilike. Mm-hmm. Tunamtolea Mungu kama njia yetu ya kuabudu jina la Bwana. Mm-hmm. Maana Mungu anahitaji nini? What does God require from us? Gold and silver belongs to him. to him. The Bible says the roads in heaven which cannot be seen by natural eyes are of gold roads hapa mm-hmm. duniani kuna barabara ya dhahabu kuna barabara ya almasi <laughs> eh yeah? hallelujah so god really doesn't need anything from us brother wandera but it is our obligation primary obligation to worship him by whichever means we can to be able to attract god's blessings in our lives oh hallelujah, hallelujah. that's why you need to give god the best the best you can because he doesn't need it mm-hmm. but through your giving it forces god to listen to give your his ear to you hallelujah hallelujah so let's give the lord a big hand clap for our giving Asante. Ah, nitawakaribisha mtuongoze katika nyimbo za makofi na tunapopiga tujue tukimchezea Bwana hii kwa leo huenda ndio ya mwisho. Bwana asifiwe. Kwa hivyo tumchezee Bwana, tumwimbie, tulete bingu ndogo mara hapa katika jina la Yesu. Na kisha baadaye tutakuwa tunaleta neno la Mungu. Karibuni sana. Katika jina la Yesu